Before their feedback, I was so hyper. He actually got diagnosed with ADHD when he was in third grade and we went to the doctor and the doctor, the only um, solution that he had was to put him on medications. It actually seemed to help him in school, uh, but within six months he was having horrible side effects. It really changed his personality and that was probably the worst part for us is, is that he became like a walking zombie. We, we felt trapped, we didn't know what to do, we knew it wasn't working for him, but we didn't know what else to do. Been running internet searches since third grade, um, looking for an alternative treatment for him, and I had early on um, read about neurofeedback. I was hoping that we could, you know, never have to put Sam back on medications, and that he would be able to function, and it would just help him. We wanted to just help him become more independent and to give him more confidence. Hello. Hello, Hello. Sam. Hi, Sam. Hi, John. Hi, Jim. So, good. So, how are things since last time? Pretty good. Good. Yeah? yeah sleep's still good? Yeah. All right. School's still good? Uh, it's getting better. All right. Have a seat, Sam. Let's get you hooked up. When they put the electrodes on me, it feels relaxing. And uh, when I'm at the game, it feels like uh, I'm really inside the game. All I just noticed is that I'm more focused during the session. But after a session, I feel, uh, I feel great. Thank you, and I'll see you next time. Alrighty. After narrow feedback made me focus more, I was able to concentrate on what the teacher was saying, and I was able to figure out what to do. I was like, wait. At, when I was at home, it's like, oh, wait. I was like, I can do this. Sam has gone into sixth grade a completely different person. I could focus more, I could write neat. Before I could not even read my writing. But uh, with the neurofeedback, I'm uh, able to read my writing. And I never knew I could write this neat. He comes home from school and the first thing he does is his homework. And I don't ask him to. He wants to do it, he wants to get it out of the way. He's done it all on his own and his grades are fantastic. He's made honor roll both semesters, and uh, it's, it's been good. Tell me, tell me how baseball is different since you've been doing this brainwave training. Well, I could focus feet more easily. Okay. And I could, uh, I know what to do when I get the ball. And when I bat, I know where to go. I used to be a really bad sport. I was not good for attention. But I'm more but now since I took narrow feedback, I don't care too much when I strike out. Even though I rarely strike out. My my fielding is just unbelievable. I I don't think I've ever been a better fielder than in my life. And I'm more confident. That's the most important part. Before I was so inconfident in myself, I just before anything happened, I was like, no, I can't do this. But now it has to take something really, really hard for that to happen. Now I can access more parts of my brain. It's opened up my mind to do more things. Before I thought I, before I thought I was just going to be a baseball player, I thought I could do nothing but be a baseball player. But now, since I've, uh, since narrow feedback, it's helped me open my mind to more things. Like I could be an archaeologist. I could be a poet, which I like poetry. I could be a manager of baseball, I could be a sportscaster, I can do, all, I can do most things I set my mind to. Whoever's out there, even if they think they have the perfect brain, like a student, who cares, this may even make them better. <laughs>